not right. How can you ask me to relinquish your late brother's property to you? But that is our custom. Moreover, our late brother died without a will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that means that all his property belongs to us. Dear Kinga, you're the eldest in the family now. Please don't do this to your senior brother, my late husband. The husband died without a will. That means, in the absence of the will, our custom says that we, his brothers, will take over all his belongings. But I wedded your late brother in church. That is not our custom. Please, gather all the documents of our late brother's property and hand over to us. What about my children, your niece and nephew? How would I take care of them? We will take care of them. After all, they are the children of our brother. <sighs> My husband, please, I beg you, please don't do this to us. Bianeka, you are testing our patience. We are giving you one week. One week to hand over those documents to us. And if you fail to produce them, all hell will be left loose on you. Why did you do this to me and your innocent children? Why did you let us suffer in the hands of your wicked brothers? We are all entitled to his legacy, even when he died in test stages. What is in the state, my son? It means dying without a will. Mommy, you see he's a law student. You should listen to him. My son, Kensley, you're still a law student and not yet a lawyer. Besides, you're still too young and inexperienced to face your wicked uncles. I know more, but I know someone that can assist us and solve this problem. Who? Mom, Barrister Michael Jacko is my family law lecturer. Pleased to meet with you, sir. My pleasure, too. So what do I owe this visit? It's about my husband's estate. You know he died in the... In the States, Mom. Oh. In the States, my son. Sorry. No, I'm not a lawyer. 
Please go ahead, madam. I understand. Thank you, sir. My husband's brother wants to take all his belongings simply because he died without a will. That's quite absurd. What happens to you and the children? That doesn't bother them at all. Sir, I told my mom that my uncles don't have any rights on my late dad's estate, even if he died in the state. You're right. In this circumstance, we are you and your children are still alive. Madam, did you wear your husband in the church? Yes, sir. Under the Marriage Act, if your husband dies in the state, the administration of his estate will be governed by the provisions of statutes and not by the customs of your husband's people. Really? Yes. I told you, Mom. And in this case, you and your children should inherit your late husband's estate. Wow. Thank God. So what do we do next, Barista? We'll have to see your in laws hmm. I will give judgment in the suit between Neka Brown and others against Ikenga Odmodu and another. Upon going through the entire court proceedings together with the SB standard during the hearing of this case, and after a careful evaluation of the plaintiff and the defendant together with the submissions of counsel on both sides, I hereby find as follows. One, that for a deceased person who is married in the church or under the Matrimonial Causes Act and dies in tested, his estate will be governed by the provisions of status. Two, according to section 49 of the administration of Estate law of Lagos state, when a man dies in testate, leaving a spouse with children, the surviving spouse shall take the personal charters absolutely and one third of the real estate, while the children would share the remaining to test. Three, in the instant case, the deceased person died in testate, leaving a spouse and two children who are the plaintiffs in this case, and two brothers who are the defendants. Since the deceased married the first plaintiff under the act, the administration of the deceased estate ought to be governed by the provisions of status and not by the customary laws. Four, relying on the provisions of the status, the first and second defendants are not entitled to any share of the deceased person's estate since his spouse and children are alive. Five, based on the foregoing, I therefore find merit in the claims of the first and second and third plaintiffs and make the following orders. A, that the first plaintiff is entitled to the personal charters absolutely and one third of the real estate of the deceased person. B, that the second and third plaintiffs are entitled to share two thirds of the remaining estate of the deceased person. C, that the first and second defendants are not entitled to inherit any of the deceased person's estate. D, that the first and second defendants are hereby perpetually restrained from laying claims to or trespassing into the deceased person's estate. As the court pleases, I will rise. Is it?
testamentary document made in a person's lifetime stating how his properties were shared after his death. We all will die someday. And the fact that you made a will doesn't mean you're about to die. It's simply a step to make sure your family doesn't get to suffer unjustly over your properties when you're no more. So my advice to you is, if you must die, don't die interested without a will. Though the law allows that where a married person dies interested, that's without a will, the deceased personal law during his lifetime would guide the administration of his estate. But sometimes this may be disputed. But where there's a will, it removes the rigors associated with this. What would have been the state of things if Neka Brown didn't have a son like Kinsley who had some knowledge of what the law says about will? What could have happened if they didn't have a fierce lawyer as Barrister Michael Jacko? Your guess is right. They would have been left with nothing. Sensia potentia air. Knowledge is power. You wouldn't say, I didn't tell you. My name is Kanayo Okanayo Esquire, and this is The People's Lawyer. Thanks for watching. Aha. Get yourself a lawyer. You say you no need that. Now you don't complicate the matter. You don't implicate yourself. No be grad, no be fight. Lawyer go help you know your right. Teach me the law. Big go guide me. Right, yeah. Got to rise up. Got to speak the down. Judge you judge the matter. Somebody has your better. Because my justice will define With his justice all the time. Nobody is above the law. Nobody is above the matter. Nobody is above that. I'm gonna justice, I'm